And that breaking news is coming out of that controversial raid at an address Houstonians know very well, 7815 Harding Street. Two homeowners killed in that HPD drug operation. Now, the big development we're following tonight, three people facing federal charges, two police officers and a civilian who dialed 911. All three were taken into custody by the FBI with support from HPD, and all three have now made their first appearances in federal court. A lengthy indictment lays out the case about how what happened can be tied to them. We have live team coverage for you tonight, beginning with Brandon Walker, who was inside that federal courtroom today. Brandon? And Bill, good evening to you. Today in federal court, a scathing indictment of two former Houston police officers and the civilian who is accused of making multiple phone calls to 911. Those phone calls, it's alleged, based on false information, and that information now the impetus behind what's now known as one botched drug raid based on a lengthy list of lies. In all, nine counts of federal offenses, piecing together a case against the three accused of lying about what went down behind the front door of 7815 Harding Street in January. It is a compelling tale of at least one, perhaps two rogue police officers who were unable or unwilling to do those very functions that we count upon the thin blue line to perform every day. Seven counts against Gerald Goins. It's alleged Goins, the case agent, lied about everything from the confidential informant who allegedly purchased black tar heroin from the home of Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas to filing a false police report and violating the Tuttle's constitutional rights by entering their home on fake intel. Goins' is attorney. We are looking forward to vigorously defending Mr. Goins both in state court and in federal court. Goins also faces two counts of felony murder in state criminal court. One count for Stephen Bryant, who was released on a $50,000 unsecured bond. He has entered a not guilty plea. Bryant is accused of lying about previously investigating the Tuttle home, claiming he had seen the heroin Goins reported was purchased from the home the day before the raid. And one count for Patricia Ann Garcia, the new name here, accused of calling 911 multiple times, claiming her daughter was in the house which contained drugs and guns. Her case key because it provides context as to how we got here in the first place. She is the reason why this notion junkies and heroin addicts in that Harding Street residence uh, is basically a, a fairy tale. Garcia, the only one of the three not charged in state court. That could change as there is an open investigation there, but right now she only faces a charge here in federal court. She will remain in custody at least through tomorrow when a detention hearing is scheduled. Goings will be held through at least Friday when one is scheduled for him. We are reporting live downtown. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.